Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 26th, 2021. Well, my goodness, last week was an extraordinary week where we just kind of shrugged off everything. We, we started out the week with a major sell-off and then just zoomed back as if um, there was nothing to be concerned about um, on the um, rising infection rates, and um, we shrugged off joblessness um, in the country and continued to push up until we set some new record highs in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, let's settle into our office chairs, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. I want to say thank you all for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, as you may hear, I've got a little allergy thing going on this morning. Um, so I apologize if I sound a little bit funky. But uh, that's the way it is when the corn is tasseling in central Nebraska. Let's take a look um, at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, let's take a quick peek at um, the diamonds here. Just noticing that we have some resistance resistance in this chart um, that we tried to break and just kind of slid back just a little bit. So we ended up with a new record closing high, but we didn't quite break that resistance to the upside. And I will have to mention this because I've mentioned this several times, we did break through that um, break of that little trend we broke through and held up there for the close of the day. So we're looking pretty darn good. This morning we have a little bit of pullback um, showing up in the market, but we're well off the lows of the morning. As you can see, we're reacting to some price support in here. So I think as long as we can hold on to some price support, a little bit of profit taking, isn't a big problem here for the market. And of course, we've got quite a little bit to deal with this week with big tech earnings, and we have an FOMC meeting and announcement um, midday Wednesday. So we have plenty of volatility to be preparing for this week. And with most of the tech giants reporting, uh, well, all of the tech giants reporting after the bell, we probably should be planning for and expect either large gap up morning opens or gap down morning or opens depending on how those reports come out these are big market movers we'll talk about that in just a little bit but just plan for a rather volatile week it could be really challenging um, for novice traders, this could be a really tough week um, because of the gappiness that could recur, could occur as a result of these big market moving reports. So let's take a look at the uh, SPY. SPY closed the week very, very strong. We had obviously a pretty rough start to the week. But we closed very strong new record highs, just mashing through those resistance levels. And although we're getting a little bit of a pullback this morning, and no big harm or foul here in the market. You can see holding on to some price support, even in that pullback this morning, we're reacting to that price support and holding it. Now, don't rule out the possibility that we could test that again, but very, very strong. And if we were to fail right there, there is a little bit of price support that we might be able to gain just a little bit lower um, nothing um, nothing in here looks bearish in any way shape or form um, very very strong overall um, we did have um, a little bit of a trend break here and that trend break has been breached uh, back to the upside and you know just looks pretty darn copacetic everything is firing on all cylinders here bulls are raging and it's really going to depend on how those big techs perform i think whether or not we're going to 
push up to record highs, uh, more record highs, or if we happen to slip. So watch that close. So very, very bullish here in the SPY. If we look at the Qs, QQQ, I gotta say QQQ as strong as SPY is, the NASDAQ remains the strongest of the indexes. We did break this trend, but we just recovered it. Um, I mean, just in a, a, a zooming move. Um, I have to tell you that for me, it seems surprising to me how we can ignore some of these things in the market and continue to pay up at these very high valuations um, in these stocks. But right now, that's what's going on. It's just um, the bullishness in this market is phenomenal. And we've seen those kind of bull markets before. Um, but often they end in a pretty ugly wreck because we run so hard and so fast we kind of forget about valuations and things like that and then all of a sudden bang it kind of hits us now i'm not suggesting that's going to happen but we're going to have to be a little bit careful remember as we continue to press these up if if in any way shape or form we decide we're going to stumble it could be a very painful pullback considering how how far we rallied last week without a single rest and as a matter of fact almost every day a gap up here in the nasdaq so a little bit of pullback this morning a little bit of profit taking but no harm no foul here very very bullish chart um i would say extremely bullish chart um, at this point let's take a look at iwm now unfortunately iwm is not sharing in that uh, wild bullishness that the other indexes are are holding on to notice that iwm continues in this little bit of a downtrend now we did kind of break above that right there so that is slightly more bullish but let's keep in mind that iwm is still well below its 50-day moving average and struggling in here a bit and i still think there's a high probability that iwm is going to see that 200-day moving average and possibly see that 200-day moving average prior to breaking through to any kind of new highs. Remember, we've got a tremendous amount of price resistance in this chart to deal with. So anything is possible, but um, that may be an awful lot for the Russell to overcome. And if the Russell continues to stay in this, in this downside move, it could also be signaling that we may be a little bit stretched out in the other indexes. But watch that closely. Um, you know, when we have these big tech reports, anything is possible. Let's take a look at our VIX this morning. Now our VIX, pretty interesting chart here. I'm gonna take all that junk off of there. Just look at the price action here at the chart. Well, we made new record highs in the market, it may, might be worth noting that we were unable to make new lows in the VIX. And although we pulled back substantially and we held this downtrend um, as resistance, just kind of make note that we have a little tiny uptrend going on here as well. And if so, a little bit of fear were to creep in, that still would constitute that potential higher low in here on the VIX. So watch that carefully. I'm not suggesting that we're going to um, get real fearful or anything along those lines. I just think it's worth keeping an eye on. Um, obviously, we're still a little bit sensitive to price in here with the VIX being just a little bit elevated considering the price location of the Diamond Spy and Qs where we're pushing out at those new records. So watch that closely in case um, a little bit of fear were to come in and we were to spike up. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122, kind of an interesting um, thing that went on last week. As we continue to push up, it was interesting that T2122 kind of struggled to push up. And what that really means is there were quite a few companies still moving sideways or south while we had some very specific stocks moving to the upside 
continuing to push these record highs. You know, it's kind of remarkable. Well, it's a circumstance that I've not seen in my career, and I don't think the market has seen either, where we have the giant techs um, encompassing such a heavy weight to all three of the major indexes, Diamond Spy and QQQ. And um, that is has been really important in holding this market up um, as they continue to press and press and press into those big techs. So let's keep a close eye on this. Um, we're getting a little pullback this morning that would obviously pull this back and that opens up opportunity for upside if we can find that um, inspiration to the upside in the chart. So watch that carefully, T2122. Remember, it doesn't give us direction. All it does is tell us when we've kind of reached an overbought or oversold condition. And we still have upside opportunity before we reach that overbought area and we certainly have downside opportunity should we find reason for those bears to attack let's take a look at our t2101 this right here continues to give me a little bit of concern and that is that t2101 even as we set new record highs in the market the absolute market breadth continues to show weakness and we saw that all last week with lower than normal volumes as we rallied up kind of an interesting circumstance that we're setting new record highs volume was a little bit weak and um our market breadth just can't get moving when um, when we rally. So watch that closely in here. Um, we continue in this long downtrend. We continue underneath this little resistance area in market breadth. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar, or excuse me, our economic calendar for today because we have um, a couple things we'll want to pay attention to. Um, as this week progresses, it gets uh, busier and busier. Notice that we start off this week, we've got um, new home sales here at 10 a.m. That certainly can move us around a little bit. We'll wanna keep, keep an eye on that. And then we start hitting some pretty substantial reports as we move on. You wanna notice that the FOMC meeting begins tomorrow. We're gonna have durable goods and consumer confidence coming in. Um, uh, on Tuesday and then um, Thursday uh, Wednesday is where we're going to have that FOMC and the Fed chairs uh, conversation so keep a close eye on that we've got petroleum status and international trading goods which continues to be a horrible number but we continue to shrug it off as if it doesn't matter and then later on in the week as you can see we've got GDP and we've got claims again so both of those are going to hit us um, and then um, we move over here to personal incomes and outlays and things like that on Friday. So pretty busy week overall um, on that economic calendar. And while we have that busy week on the calendar, our earnings are going to be ramping up. And of course, we know we have a lot of big tech this week. Um, take a look. We're going to have Tesla, Tesla today after the bell. That'll be one of our big techs today that we'll want to be paying attention to. Um, Tesla reporting after the bell today. And then we have just a, a ramp up. Um, by Thursday, it looks like we've got, um, well, Wednesday and Thursday. Um, we have Wednesday about 190 some companies reporting. Um, we have over 230 on Thursday reporting. So we're really ramping up those earnings results. And um, obviously that creates price volatility that we'll wanna be closely paying attention to. So one of the things that we have to plan for on big earnings weeks like this and all of those big techs is those possibilities that we could get a big gap up in the open because we have um, most of these techs report after the bell. And so we could get that big gap in the morning to either the upside or the downside. And so we're gonna to have to play this pretty carefully because these whipsaws could be pretty substantial and could get a little bit painful 
um, if we're over trading. So watch that close. Now on those earnings, uh, on that earnings front, um, a few notables that you want to be paying attention to besides Tesla, we have Hasbro. Hasbro reporting. They reported a good strong earnings report this morning, perking up. Now, obviously, still in a little bit of a downtrending pattern here, not really um, broken out yet, but watch that closely. That could be important. Um, we've got LMT, LMT reporting. Keep an eye on that. Looks like we're trying to get a nice little hammer going in here. We had initial selling pushing back up, trying to break that downtrend here to the upside on Lockheed. And we're going to hear from Pets. P-E-T-S. That'll be an interesting report. Looks like we're gapping um, or pushing back down after that earnings report this morning. Still been running in this ugly, ugly downtrend here in the chart. Sorry, my drawing tools just automatically changed on their own. Um, so watch that closely and keep in mind that we're pushing down here toward um, lows in that chart. So watch that. Um, we're going to hear from um, SBFG, um, a financial today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Financials um, overall have been struggling here just a little bit, but perhaps that could help out just a little. And TTM is the last one I'm going to talk about today. Uh, TTM will be reporting today. Now, if you want the full list of notables, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. That will take you back to the blog, which is a short blog this morning. I ran out of time. And um, you can um, get that full list. Um, also, guys, uh, please do me a favor. If um, if there is something um, that you would like to see um, in these videos, something I'm not, not covering, please feel free to leave that in the comments. Um, I do want to put out a good quality video for everyone. I do want everyone to get as much out of these as they can and um, also keep them in a relatively short form. So um, always feel free to leave suggestions and I appreciate that. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. And once again, if you find these videos to be useful, to be helpful to you, please make sure you click that uh, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps uh, the channel continue to go, grow. And remember, it's, it's the engagement with the video that makes the difference. Now I get a lot of viewership um, on the on the video where folks don't respond or even leave a, an emoji or anything like that. If everyone would um, would be willing to just click through and, and leave that little um, uh, happy face or anything, that helps that engagement and I would truly appreciate it. Also, I just want to give a huge shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. And that's right below the title of the video. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are truly, um, you humble me every day. And I, I, I um, am so grateful uh, for all the support of this channel. Now let's take a look at some stock setting up and please keep in mind guys that as we do this, there is no recommendation to buy or sell any security here. You have to do your own due diligence and be very focused here on um, the chart itself, how the setup is, is going, whether or not it fits your risk tolerance, your rules and your guidelines. You should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade. Let's take a look at TRU. Now TRU has been running in a nice little upside move as you can see here, nice and strong. And we've rested here for just a few trading days and we're holding it here on price support. If we can gain some bullishness in here, there may be that opportunity that that pushes on through to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. TRU looking pretty darn good. You might also want to take a look at the beverage companies. Beverages have been doing very, very well. And these are um, in that consumer defensive sector. If the market starts getting a little bit spooked, a little bit scary, you can see uh, the consumer de defensive sector kind of picking up. 
and um, Coke has um, quite a pattern here. Notice we have one heck of a cup and handle out here that is formed and Coke breaking through this resistance level in the chart and holding it up here as support. So we're looking really good in Coca-Cola. Watch for that next opportunity for this to try and push on through to the upside. You might also want to take a look at PepsiCo. PEP has been looking really, really good. Um, I set a price alert here on this on Friday and boy, it popped and went right through. But, you know, we're getting a little bit of pullback and we went just ahead of this um, trend. So don't be too surprised, guys, if this has to do a little bouncing around, a little rest, a little pullback in here, uh, moving over toward trend before that really takes off. But PepsiCo looking pretty good. Another uh, beverage um, you might want to keep an eye on is Monster. Monster had a big pop on Friday, really, really strong, breaking through some resistance. Now, any rest or pullback in here would definitely set up an opportunity. You don't want to chase something like that, but a rest or pullback that moves us back toward this trend could certainly set up that opportunity in Monster. It's looking pretty darn good here overall. Um, other stocks that you might want to be keeping an eye on that have, um, well, there's some interest in here. Let's take a look at XLP. Now, XLP is the consumer staples area of the market. And I don't know if you saw that report from JP Morgan, but JP Morgan is suggesting a 10 to 20 percent market correction on the way. And they um, issued a, an idea that folks might want to be looking for um, some of the consumer staples to balance things out. So we're, we're starting to see a little bit of bullishness coming into those staples. And you can see we've got a little bit of a um, head and shoulders pattern, inverted head and shoulders, maybe kind of forming in here. Um, watch that closely if that can break on through to the upside. Um, we still have some resistance here that we're trying to deal with. Had a strong day on Friday. Watch this closely as we run up this trend, that possibility that we could pop on through here. And if you're looking for some of the stocks in XLP, it's a real simple thing to do with TC2000 anyway. Just click one icon, it brings up the full list. And you can see stocks like tap have been terrible in this index but if you take a look at um, a stock like Hershey which is in this index um, Hershey looking pretty good and that's another one of those consumer defensive stocks pushing up in here showing some bullishness um, in that area another place you might want to take a look at is um, real estate XLRE in the spider select sector um, if you're looking at this real estate um, trusts have been holding up extremely well now the reason people would trade a real estate trust is for mostly for its dividend yield um, they're a safety play um, overall. So keep an eye on that. XLRE looking very good, starting to show some upside possibility here in that chart. And once again, click on one icon and jump right into the stocks that are setting up. Take a look at ARE, MAA, ESS. All of these are looking very, very bullish. And they are um, just those stocks that just turn out these huge dividend returns overall. Um, so keep a close eye on that. Some of them are looking really good, some of them not so good, but um, watch that closely. Um, that sector is looking pretty good. So um, uh, other places that you might want to take a look. Um, we had a big pullback on Oracle on Friday. Oracle just, this thing has been really, really strong, but boy, it got hit hard on Friday. But if it can hold in this support area, I'm not sure that it's um, down for the count here. Watch this for a little bit of a rest or a consolidation in here. If we can hold above that support, we're probably okay. Maybe just got a little overextended in the short term. Watch that for that upside opportunity. Um, now, keep in mind, guys, we have a lot of big tech and big tech is going to move stuff around pretty heavily this week. So you'll want to keep an eye on those stocks like Microsoft, 
Um, this has just been up in an extraordinary run to the upside. Um, if this were to stumble, that could be a real problem here for the market. But watch that closely. It's very, very bullish. Apple, very, very bullish. And um, uh, can't type this morning. And um, you can see that these are coming up here in the next couple of days for earnings. So watch that close as these big techs roll out. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And thank you so much for being here this morning. Uh, please make sure and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.